Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the northern zones because I have ran out of fur and I need a little bit more for a few bits and pieces, some construction that I've been um, wanting to tackle. But before we do that, I really want to give you guys an update as to how I've been progressing with the new farming ranching update, which is the 5.0.1 update. Now, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of, um, I guess, in a way, a lot of negativity in the direction of this particular update and mainly squared at the fact that there's been um, a lot of changes, a lot of layout changes, um, and a lot of, um, I guess, negativity all around the uh, the crop production and things like that and how that has basically impacted a lot of people. Now, what I wanted to focus on is obviously that, but also I did want to sort of quickly touch on the my base layout and configuration because I know a lot of people have been um, uh, not happy with the way that the developers have done the update and how people have, I guess, well, they need to ch actually change their base to accommodate all the new um, workstations and, and farm plots. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my base. So let's do a quick little overview. So I'm just gonna pull that out. And as you can see, this is how I've sort of configured my base. I did sort of say in the previous video how I sort of wanted to do it. So I'll get to how I sort of done my workstations and storage uh, containers as well. But this is how I've done my farm, as you guys can see. Now this one over here, this is my highest spec uh, uh, farm plot so all the other ones here is still stage one which I think this one here is stage two if I'm not mistaken because I did actually get myself uh, some fertilizer uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea I've got the water tower in the middle next to the um, the bench uh, that goes along with it my um, my inbox is there I've got the the barn over here I've got the pet uh, place over here and then I've got my um, a horsey and my wagon now here I've still got the chicken coop here just to give you guys a bit of an idea I'm nearly there I need one more chicky and then we're good to go um, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea and as you can see I still even haven't pushed my um, my outer block by one uh, one space over yet so that is the next thing that I want to do that's in my pipeline but as you can see I haven't spent anything yet this plot can be bought which I'm not buying, not yet, unless if they change that. But right now, I don't need to change it. It is possible for you to cram everything in and have a safety net around your base. Even I've got some barbed wire all around my base, just about, not the whole way through, but we're, ne we're nearly there. We are nearly there. I'm actually gonna get rid of the uh, the wooden version there because I wanted to have a bit of a play with it, but um, I've nearly uh, encased my base around with, um, with wire. I'm going to start upgrading the walls a little bit more so it gives me time to get out there and take the bandits out once I've annoyed them enough. Now, as you can see, this is how I've laid out my base. So I've got all of my overflow sitting just here, as you can see. And then for the most part, all of my storages, all of my workbenches, to the best of my abilities, of course, I have um, put them as close as possible to workbench, to main uh, storage and then i've got some overflow in the respected areas okay so it does look pretty neat i'm pretty happy with it for the most part for now um look this is subject to change of course if the developers do some further updates and further expansion which might warrant some more um maneuverability on my part to accommodate for the new whatever it might be so there you go. For now, this is it. This is my version three base. This is my third iteration or the third time that I've actually had to um, ma uh, maneuver things around, play with these things, and you know, just sort of get it to where I want it to, you know, where I want it to be. Now, I guess what you guys might be wanting to know, this um, pretty much, I can still get through with these uh, type of storage uh, boxes. I haven't actually gone that one step yet to see if I'm still able to be pushed through. I think I still can. 
um, with some testing that I've done with uh, these big storage uh, chests over here. So it hadn't been a problem when I when I mucked about with it, um, but hopefully it doesn't change the fact when I um, when I go to do just that because I will need to do that anyway further down the line. Now I guess the last thing that I wanted to sort of point out is um, all this stuff. So all the um, the farming production. Um, I'm still trying to get myself familiarized with how I sort of get in and out of this part of the base. So bear with me for a second as we sort of get on. Um, okay, so right now I am farming um, a lot of hemp. So there's 200 there. Now I've done it, I've done it a few times. So 200 worth of hemp gets me about eight hemp cloth. Um, and the same would be said for the rope equivalent, okay? So you get eight or so, and obviously that takes about 24 hours. Now, I know what you're saying. It is gonna take a little bit longer to do these sort of things and sort of grind and sort of, you know, get those crafted up. The way that I look at it in one respect here, we've got a ton of resources when the update drop. Basically, I'm only using the resources that the developers gave us as a compensation, okay? Um, I haven't even gotten into the, the linen. Actually, I have. No, I haven't, because that is still sitting in my inbox, just to sort of point that out, okay? So I could effectively use that whenever I need to. Um, but yes, it's, it's obviously gonna take 24 hours. It is gonna take time. I know the... Um, the whole rebalance is not in everyone's favor, but the way that I see it, the way that I look at it, and this is one aspect that I don't think a lot of people have actually looked at. Now, if you come into contact with these seeds, you'll be able to craft and recraft as much as you need. Now, I know it's not as quick, but if you're in a position or a situation where you can't hang out in those uh, higher level zone so let's throw it out there being um, you know the tier 5 zones in the deep water area or possibly even in the south of the tier 4 area if you get yourselves these seeds then you can reuse them and then you can sort of garner a little bit of a um, of an inventory and that will allow you to make you know certain armor in this instance because that's what you're going to need for you know hemp linen and obviously cotton um yeah so or even making that of rope as well so i'm just sort of putting it out there that's how i look at it i know it's taking a little bit longer but it means i don't have to travel to those destinations and use up other resources so that's what i how i want to position it i know a lot of people won't agree with that some people you know might agree with that but that's up to you guys to agree that's my opinion and my opinion is mine alone so i know a lot of people aren't really um interested in knowing or you know they all they all they want to see or know is how the how it's going to impact them which is totally fine um i'm not against that at all whatsoever what i want to sort of promote is how i see it and how i envision it and the way that I'm going to sort of attack it. It may not be to everyone's cup of tea, but the way that I look at it is if you do, if you get all of these workstations up to their maximum value, then you're going to get at least what? That's four, four times eight, which is about what? 24, if I'm not mistaken. No, 32. I haven't done my maths right. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, 32 all up because if you go, if you go eight here, eight there, that's 16 times two, that's 32. Got it, there you go, quick maths. Um, so yeah, that's the way that I see it, guys. I know we spent a little bit of time here on this. I haven't actually been able to upgrade my barn just yet because that's the next thing on, one of the next things on my list. And that's why I need to head over to the north so I can create more iron tools. And that way we can get all that happening as well. So if I do the upgrade for this, let's go put all, we're nearly there. Um, I just need to make a couple more nails and we're good on that front. So we'll go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. So let's go to the detail bench, couple of those. There we go. That'll give me a sufficient amount. Okay, so we're going to head out. I want to go over to the north here. Um, actually, what I might do is I might take a bait with me. And if we get ourselves a lynx, then yeah, we'll, we'll tame it. We'll We'll send it back and take it from there. Where did I put all my baits? I think they're over here now. There we go. 
So I'm trying to sort of make um, this work for now. Like I said, we know that the developers have mentioned and they have stated openly that this is the first iteration of this uh, from this new update. We don't know what the next ones are going to look like. We don't know what they're going to entail, if they're going to be good, if they're going to be bad, who knows. But all that I know for now is at this point in time, this is what we've got to play with. This is what we need to do in order to sort of adapt to the newer system. I'm sure as time goes on that they're going to make uh, other changes that may even start decreasing some of the requirements to make certain things as well, or even speed up the production. What I would actually like to see is uh, a stepping grade in production cycles. Okay, so let's say for example, um, we want you know, fiber. Fiber shouldn't take 24 hours to make. It should take, say, two hours. Jute, four hours. Cotton, six hours. Linen, eight hours. And then, uh, you know, something like that of hemp might take 12 hours to make. I think that's fair. And I think they're probably just testing the waters for now. Sorry, waters for now to see how people react to it. Feedback that they get. So any sort of feedback that you want to give them, give it to them, uh, you know, constructively. Okay. So give them for, you know, areas to improve, things like that. And then at least this way, you know, it's not a... Um, a barrage of hate or anything like that i've always been big on that i've always been big on giving developers constructive criticism to make the game better like i said not ever, everyone's going to be happy with these updates you know so to say that i'm happy i'm not completely happy to be perfectly honest with you but this is what i'm sort of thinking and how i'm going to sort of adapt to you know the new way of doing things for now all right, so we know we can tame these fellas here, so we're going to leave them up there for the moment. So I know I've got a tier three uncommon female I'm hunting for. Ooh, hello. Beautiful. More wheat seeds, more fish for me to fry, which is fantastic. Okay, there we go. That's another one that we can tame later on. And all these guys I can tame. Now that I'm just looking at it, I'm, uh, I'm focusing on the mini map at the moment, so... There you go, there's a, quite a number of these lynxes here. There you go, back on track. So, we're back on track now. So let's continue on. So what I was saying is, hopefully um, I'll get myself a male T3, and hopefully it's gonna be uncommon at the best. If not, it is what it is, but I'm hoping that I can get a male, and then we can start uh, training him, and then we can get them to, uh, to mate and do all that sort of good stuff, as you know what they do. Okay. I might actually see if we can save this fella. Boom. There we go. And I want to see what we get in the little loot containers, that's all. Um, I want to take those. See, like, even anything like of these things as well, right? Oh, I didn't realise that there were multiple uh, people here. Um, anyway. Anytime that we're getting cotton or rope or anything of that nature, I'm just taking it now, especially with this update. You want to be taking these things. There we go. We've got some fur there. Um, and just in... Oh, no, no, we don't need that. Why is it locked? I saved him. I just got jibbed. For sure I got jibbed here. Well, that's annoying. Well, I'm going to take that. And you might, may as well even take the cotton seed, right? Because I've got 100, well, 101 now. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We've got some more rope. Yeah, the time that it's going to take, you know, you to make everything, you may as well just take the, um, the end product and keep it for yourselves. So yeah, these type of materials, what you find that's already made is going to be all more precious for us to take and actually, you know, uh, utilize for ourselves. I mean, especially with the way that the um, the update has done everything, we're going to need to be a little bit more vigilant in the way that we, um, you know, that we do certain things as well. So, anyway, that's um, that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below as well. Um, are we going to dance? Are we going to not? Can I? Yep. Cool. Let's do it. Boom. There we go. Are you good? Oh, it's you over here. Alright, we good now? Perfect. Alright, let's see what type of 
goodies that we're going to get. I've just noticed there's some brown coal up there. I'm actually uh, tapped out of brown coal. So we're going to do that. I'm going to grab all this. We're going to stick it on auto and uh, see what we get from it. Well, we're going to get some materials, of course, aren't we? So what, what is there? We're gonna, probably going to get about two full stacks by the looks of things, which is uh, good for me. And I'll grab the chromite while I'm here. I may as well, because with the stuff that I'm crafting, a lot of steel is required at the moment. So, oh, no, no, no. What are you doing, bandit? Boom. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's just take all of those. Okay, so let's grab all this. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. I want this Canada Lynx. Come here, Canada Lynx. I didn't want, to, want you to be too far out of the proximity. Actually, I've noticed this as well. Look at this. So, this is strictly, obviously, for um, for pet consumption because it doesn't offer any sort of food. It only just retrieves you, gives you back hunger and um, and the uh, the pet uh, satiety, whatever, however you want to call it. So, you don't actually get HP from that. You get a little bit of hunger back, but that's about it. Which I find interesting because they obviously had that different um, in the prior update. So yeah, I just thought I'd just point that out as we're sort of going along. And as I'm sort of taking these Canada Lynxes out, I'm hoping I haven't taken out a male because that would be pretty bad. Pretty bad, of course. Okay, let's just heal back up. Okay, you haven't given me anything that I wanted. I, I am getting some... Um, some maple, which is nice. Um, that's going to help me finish off my, um, what you call it? I'm sure I can't open that up. Um, my what am I call it? I'm trying to think. Uh, my barbed wire uh, surrounding the um, the base. That's the word I am looking for. All right, what have we got here? I'll take that off the mountain, Kate Udi. All right, mountain lion, come here. Give me. I don't think you're going to have fur. You might. You know, you have this. Alright, so the Canada Lynxes give me that. Um, Alright, so let's see if we can open up this. There's a lot of Canada Lynxes, actually, I've noticed. A plethora. And, oh, damn. Okay. Yes, it was your loot, but it, it is now mine. Thank you very much. Uh, what am I going to use up? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to need to eat... And I'm going to need to drink. Let's just do that. Who is hitting me? Get away, Mr. Northern Western Wolf. Ooh, thank you very much for that, of course. And let's let's grab that and move on. I should be getting the, um, the oak as well. Okay, come here, Mr. Canada Lynx or Miss Canada Lynx. Sure, I can always go back to the horsey and um, drop a few things off. That would be good. And I might end up doing this. Why not? Okay, so the predator is coming. Where are you, predator? You're coming from the top. You're coming from the side. I don't know where you're coming from. Where are you coming from? Uh, hello? Um, okay. Okay, oh, I gotta find them. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I need to find these fellas. There we go. Well, there goes one. Thank you for the hide, my friend. So they will be marked in the red. What? This fella over here? No, no, you're fine got to be these two fellows up here. Oh yes. Beautiful. Thank you very much my dude. And let's just take this while I'm here. I may as well. And uh, may as well heal up at the same token. There we go. And horsey's just up here. Alright, let's unload. Uh, to, let's see what I've got here. Alright, beautiful. So we've got some space back, and you need to go bye-bye. I don't know how many more that I'm sp I was supposed to get, actually. There's a few of them. Oh well, I guess we'll find out shortly. Or if I just check this. 
I need one more. Okay. Easy. Easy. We're getting there. Actually, the turkey. Give me the turkey. Thank you very much. Alright, alright. Yeah, there's a few of these guys here still, so we should be good. Alright, Mr. Bighorn Sheep, you give me some more of that. Okay. Okay, Mr. Canada Lynx. Thank you very much. I'm just going to take out this one over here while we're at it. No, nah, okay. So we just need one more of those um, those hungry wolves, wherever they are. Ah, oh, there you are. Come here, you. Did you just respawn? You must have respawned for sure. That's it. We've done it. Thank you very much. Alright, so let us go and get one of these Canada Lynxes. Okay, well, look. Where are you? Give me. Beautiful, let's go. I hope you're a male. Because I just randomly got one. I should have actually taken them all out, but ah, it is what it is. No, go away, go away. Okay, okay, quickly, quickly. Let's race back. Hopefully it's a male. Come on, better be a male. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back up there and get some more. I've actually got enough, um, actually quite a number of um, T3 meats. Was it T4? No, T3. What am I saying? So we should be good, but... Oh, come on, fingers crossed. Female. Female. It's a female. Really? Really? Fine. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to train it, and then I'm going to have to get it to... Um, get it to max level, and then after that we're gonna, going to... Uh, do what we need to do with it and uh, submit it to the old uh, what do you call it uh, researcher and that's that well there you go unfortunately I didn't get what I wanted oh well anyway guys that's going to go ahead and do it here for uh, for today let me know what you think inside the comment section down below um, have you guys had some more time to spend to get yourselves up to date and running with regards to the whole um, farming system if not let me know if you have let me know how you're doing it and how you're coping and let me know how you guys have um, organized your base that would be an interesting thing to find out from you guys as well anyway leave a like share if you can if, and if you guys are new to the channel or not and if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos alrighty guys take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one